relevant and intriguing. It is relevant because everything is digitalizing so quickly and it will definitely be a more pertinent subject in the future and I also find it very intriguing how you are able to make a website from scratch just through coding. How the other box? In computing, there are no standard questions and there are no fixed solutions to these questions. So, in order to solve these problems, you have to be creative, you have to have critical thinking skills in order to think out of the box. Challenging, enriching, and rewarding. Because at the beginning, it might seem quite intimidating looking at the diverse terminologies and various forms of music. But once you get the hang of it, it will be useful when doing music analysis and composition writing. Class discussions. Because everyone here is keen on understanding more about math, it's really fun and enlightening to me when friends and I gather around someone's table and contribute ideas to a challenging math problem. If you enjoy math, I'm sure you will like it too. What I look forward to the most during F math lessons would be the use of simulations to illustrate various um, applications of mathematical concepts. This is because uh, such tools not only allow me to understand the seemingly complicated concepts, but it also allows me to appreciate the beauty behind such mathematical concepts. I always look forward to the open class discussions during every KI class. I think a lot of freedom has been given to us to explore the topics that we study. And because class sizes are so small, and everyone shares the same curiosity and passion towards the subject, lessons are never dull, and there's always fun and laughter in class. Lastly, I think there's just so much to learn from each other when we come together to discuss. It's really eye-opening and thought-provoking, so it keeps me motivated to learn more. I look forward to being creative and free when finding meaning out of the literature pieces. Of course, this is done along with the guidance from our teacher. MLL has definitely given me the opportunity to be vocal about my opinions, which is something that I really appreciate as it also allows me to be more confident in myself. Furthermore, it is one of the few subjects which allows students to create notes on their own and share it with the rest of the class as lesson notes. This has made students like me happy as I get to contribute to my friends' learning. NJC has a very unique environment where students are encouraged to make mistakes and experiment during the art making process. The teachers are very helpful and encouraging in the ideation and formation of their artwork. We also get to choose the medium of our own choice. I got to work with acrylic pouring, origami, and plexiglass sculptures this year, and it has been very meaningful in adding to the repertoire of my own techniques. Moreover, we also get to learn about the techniques and intentions of other artists to increase our exposure to other art forms as well. Overall, it has been a very enjoyable experience taking art this year. I think one cool thing about ELL is that our class size is really small. For us, we have 10 people in our class. This means that each of us gets more time with the teacher, and it also means that our classes are a lot more interactive and discussive, which really helps us get in touch with what we're learning. Our teacher, Mr. Po, also incorporates materials from YouTube, news articles, blogs, and other sources when teaching us. Another great thing about studying ERL and NJ will be the abundance of opportunities offered to us to further enrich our learning. My teachers have given me many chances to sign up for things like MOE engagement sessions, which gave me insight on potential internships, scholarships, or even job opportunities from MOE. And another thing I can think of would be the seminar series done by NTU's Division of Linguistics and Multilingual Studies, which I also found to be extremely intriguing and relevant to my work. Learning TL and NG is a new experience for us because we're exposed to Tamil literature for the first time, and Tamil is a language that we enjoy learning. Also exposed to like new knowledge such as short stories, novel, drama. Our passion for demo has increased because we look forward to demo lessons every day. I participated in the NJC ESTAR program last year. While filled with many ups and downs, my research experience has definitely been an extremely memorable and fulfilling one. I was able to dive in deeper into various subject matters and apply my knowledge in new and innovative ways to solve real-world problems. Participating in the ESTAR program has allowed me to grow in many ways, including improving my communication skills when working closely with my mentors and sharpening my presentation skills when presenting my research at the Singapore Science and Engineering Fair 
and NJC's very own STAR Symposium. Other than science, NJC also offers a wide range of opportunities from humanities, computing, to math research. Research is a great opportunity for you to challenge yourself, hone your problem-solving skills, and learn many valuable life lessons. While the journey may get tough, you will have your professors, mentors, and research mates along the way. Research has given me many memorable experiences and long-lasting friendships. Other than that, you will be able to experience the satisfaction of completing your very own research project and gain fulfillment from contributing your effort to the scientific community, potentially making a difference to society. In the Humanities program, we are afforded a lot of freedom in determining our topic and research focus. So I think that this freedom has given us a more holistic and enjoyable research experience and is something that we could take ownership over personally as well. Through research, we have all learned how to question what we read in a critical and informed manner, which is quite a valuable skill. In addition to that, we've also been exposed to different fields of humanities, even those that we don't study, and we learned how they complement and add to one another. I think that this was quite interesting as it isn't part of the standard syllabus. Mm -hmm.